గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ గాయస్ డేట్ ఈస్ సిక్స్ జనవరి టైమ్ ఈస్ సెవెన్ ఏఎం మై డే స్టార్ట్స్ విత్ గోయింగ్ టు మనీ కంట్రోల్ ఫస్ట్ అండ్ ఫస్ట్ ఐ గో టు గ్లోబల్ ఇండైసర్స్ అండ్ ఐ లుక్ ఫర్ ద గ్లోబల్ మార్కెట్స్ దిస్ మార్నింగ్ ఐ లుక్ ఎట్ ద యుఎస్ మార్కెట్ ఐ లుక్ ఎట్ ద యూరోపియన్ మార్కెట్ ఐ లుక్ ఎట్ ద ఏషియన్ మార్కెట్స్ సో ఇట్ విల్ గివ్ మీ ఎ ఫేర్ ఐడియా అబౌట్ హౌ అవర్ మార్కెట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు ఓపెన్ అప్ వెదర్ ఇట్ విల్ బి గ్యాప్ అప్ గ్యాప్ డౌన్ ఆర్ ఎ ఫ్లాట్ మార్కెట్ so looking at the global market i can see that sgx nifty is just one points up so that mean we are likely to have a flat opening us market was around 1% up yesterday and then european market closed red and i can see that asian markets are in the mixed some are in the green and some are in the red so when you see this kind of market global markets are mixed both green and red such time normally you will see our indian market opens flat flat means around the same closing like yesterday around not the exact so that is what looking at the global indices give me an idea about how our market likely to open i've been thinking about you i'm waiting for it all to come true i'm longing to hear you say okay guys market is at to open before market opens let me tell you what i was currently doing on my chart i was just marking where is the support and resistance for today's trade in nifty and bank nifty how to know that where is the support resistance what is the important level for today's trade 
for that you have to go on your left the left doesn't mean that your left on the left side of the chart that means you should see what happened previously maybe previous day many people ask me why it is important you should look at the previous day because previous day is already over right today is a new day so they think that why we have to bother about previous day for them my answer is for day trading previous day plays very very important and very significant role because today 6 january is the extension of 5th january tomorrow 7th january is going to be the extension of 6th january so that is how market works today is not an individual day today is the extension of previous day so that is why you should know what happened previous day that's why previous days important levels you should mark in my chart i have already marked important level in today's chart before market open i have already analyzed today's chart and what is likely to happen whether i am a bullish or bearish whether i am bullish in the market or bearish in the market which is that one important level today i am looking for everything i am going to show you in your chart and let me explain you about the analysis of yesterday and today what likely to happen okay now let me show you how i do the analysis you can see that market is at to open time is around 8:50 and already i have already i am analyzing the charts both nifty and bank nifty you can see that on one screen i have nifty and another screen i have bank nifty i have a dual screen here and how i am analyzing this chart so one thing everyone can see that this is the nifty chart nifty is in the strong uptrend look at the uptrend we are into strong bull market in nifty you can see that somewhere here nifty started rallying somewhere in the month of second november around second november and you can see that still we are into strong bull market almost we are at 52 week high in nifty same in bank nifty you can see that this is the bank nifty chart bank nifty also you can see that we are almost at 52 week high yesterday we touched 52 week high strong uptrend does it mean that i'm going to buy immediately as market opens because we are into bull market no okay day trading doesn't mean that moment market opens you should start buying because we are in the bull market you have to do the analysis i've done a small analysis on bank nifty and nifty both what you have seen is the daily time frame so let's go to five minutes time frame and this is the five minutes time frame in bank nifty yesterday we had a very strong up move yesterday we had a very big trending day right from here somewhere here nifty open bank nifty open and closed almost at 31,800 close to 31,800 almost 800 points up move in bank nifty yesterday now let us switch to nifty nifty you can see that nifty also had a strong up move yesterday so you can see that here i marked the previous day high and previous day low in nifty and bank nifty also i marked previous day high previous day low and you can see in bank nifty i marked also marked couple of couple of lines if you are asking me what is this green line green line is the demand zone why i am saying this is the demand zone for that you have to go to your left look at this look at this chart look at this chart look at this chart just observe this is the date 29th of december here market opened came back and immediately bounced from this level right next day what happened next day was 30th of december again it came to the same demand zone where last time it came again it reversed right now let us see what happened after that 4th of january 4th of january what happened just look at this guys same demand zone it came took the support made a big bounce again yesterday again market opened with a red candle took a support here made a green bullish pin bar again market started rallying right so that means this is the demand zone green color what i marked almost four times it touched right four times you can see that it touched that demand zone so that is why you can see that green color I marked on my chart then if you want to know what is this this is the turning point i was telling about the turning point where breakout happened yesterday if you look at the chart clearly breakout happened here in bank nifty why because this was the supply zone in bank nifty on 4th of january look at this market opened with a big market opened bullish could not sustain then a big crash look at this crash from here to here then this is your supply zone this is your supply zone next day what happened next day on next day on 5th of january you can see that that is yesterday market came here and then break out the green candle what you see here which has broken the supply zone and then started going up so 
today i have marked this level this is the turning point where likely to face some kind of support or resistance if market opens gap down then it will be resistance if market falls from here then it will be support provided market comes down okay there is no guarantee that market will come here but what i have seen in the hjx nifty and other markets in the morning it was mixed mixed mean some market was green some market was in red so in such cases normally nifty bank nifty opens flat flat means somewhere close to yesterday's closing this is the yesterday's closing the last candle so somewhere here i am expecting maybe little bit of small gap up or gap down but i am not expecting a huge gap up or gap down okay so my today's level is going to be this one why i am saying this is the most important level i am looking for why because after a bullish market around 230 you can see that this level market could not break right this is the level market made a consolidation that means there are sellers here so i am looking for this level the previous day high which i marked i am looking for that level as a strong support or resistance that mean if market opens gap up and even though it makes a bearish candle it it is likely to face support here if it breaks then it's a shorting opportunity if market opens gap down market opens below the yesterday's high that is previous day high market opens somewhere in this region then i am expecting market to face resistance near this level near the previous day high so if market open somewhere here i will not be interested to go long i will be interested to short here once this previous day high is broken provided it breaks okay so that is what my analysis in bank nifty what about the nifty nifty is not giving me any convincing kind of nifty is not giving me same kind of convincing kind of chart like bank nifty so i am more interested to trade in bank nifty bank nifty charts looking very impressive for me bank nifty look bank nifty looking very attractive to me and i am more interested to trade in bank nifty today okay so this is the level i am looking for only previous day high previous day low less likely we are going to face but you never know in market anything can happen so i am not really looking for this level because this is almost like uh, 800 points from here to here 800 points yesterday it went 800 point doesn't mean that today also it is it can go 800 points but anything can happen if it breaks this level then it's a breakdown from the demand zone okay coming back to yesterday's move am i expecting another big move today am i expect am i bullish today i am expecting bank nifty to fly again today of course not i am not expecting a big move in bank nifty today i am expecting bank nifty to stay sideways okay i am expecting bank nifty to stay sideways or i am little bit bearish nifty same thing bank nifty falls nifty also can fall i am not looking at the nifty today much but i am looking at the bank nifty today okay so i am expecting sideways movement or slightly bearish why because of the big move yesterday okay big move mean we are going to have a wide cpr today in bank nifty we are likely to have a very wide cpr in bank nifty nifty also we are likely to have a wide cpr because nifty also made a big move today unlike yesterday unlike yesterday where bank nifty had a narrow cpr nifty had a wide cpr but today we are going to have a wide cpr in bank nifty and nifty also wide cpr so my bet is i am i am expecting market to stay sideways to slightly bearish still there are around 10 minutes to go for market to open let us see what happens once market opens market is at to open but you can see that already i have already prepared my watch list also which are the call option all the out of the money call option you can see that i have put the out of the money call option and out of the money put option so that once market opens if i see opportunity immediately i'll go and punch the order so i am more towards selling options today though i trade both in future and option but today i am more towards selling option reason being tomorrow is expiry tomorrow is weekly expiry that is thursday thursday is the weekly expiry today is wednesday and there will be a some sort of theta time decay will be there so that is why i am ready to sell either call option or put option so i'll not be more interested to trade in future today i'll be more interested in selling option if i'm preparing this well in time doesn't mean that 915 market opens immediately i punch the order no i will see for the opportunity a right setup then only i take the trade i don't just take the trade because market open 
9 15 and market opened and you can see that in both nifty and bank nifty making a bearish candle and i told you that previous day high is likely to act as a strong support you can see that bearish candle taking support near the previous day high let us see what happens whether it will be able to break it or will take the support bank nifty you can see that clearly it is taking support near the previous day high where i told you pre-market that that is the level i am looking for a support as i told you in the pre-market analysis this is the level where bank nifty is likely to face support and you can see that the first candle is taking the support making a wix here so that means this level is acting as a support and as i said we are likely to have a wide cpr you can see in bank nifty this is the top cpr central pivot bottom cpr very wide cpr in bank nifty i will never be interested to go long i will be interested to go short once the previous day high broken but i will not be interested to go long because of the wide cpr i am not bullish today here same in nifty also you can see that very wide cpr right so i am expecting market to stay sideways or once it breaks previous day high i am expecting it to go down you can see that after the close of first candle bank nifty made a very bullish pin bar here above the previous day high and this is a bullish sign actually because of the bullish pin bar taking the support at the previous day high but honestly speaking i am still not very comfortable going long here so i am expecting it to reverse i am thinking it is going to have a reversal even though it is looking bullish above the previous day high but i am not very comfortable i am not com very comfortable to go long in bank nifty even though first candle is above the previous day high making a bullish pin bar i was telling in the pre-market that this level is going to act as a strong support or resistance because previous day high here this is the support and you can see that it made a bullish pin bar and you see that nifty is breaking the previous day high now nifty is breaking that support and making a bearish candle can you see this third candle it's almost breaking it but there is a wix first candle low is the wix so that's why i'll not be comfortable to short here because still it is at the support look at here bank nifty time is 9 32 already we are into 15 minutes into the market i am waiting for first candle low or previous day high to be broken i am waiting for this level to get broken so that i can go short and guys just look at the power of price action if you remember morning pre-analysis i said before market opens i said this level will be strong support look at this first candle took the support exactly from the previous day high second time second time you can see it took the support third time it took the support and then started going up and exactly you can see that it took the support took the support took the support that is what price action that is how you have to analyze the chart and that is what experience can do in trading that is why experience is very important in trading till i do not have any position time is one o'clock that doesn't mean that i'm sitting idle and i'll not do anything i'll go through my social networking sites i'll go to my facebook linkedin youtube channel and i'll do some or other browsing and whenever i see that price comes to my level and then only take the trade until then i'll not take the trade so that is why patience is important don't just jump into the trade once you decided which is the level you are going to take the trade let price come there then only take the trade this is my twitter handle where you where you can see here almost 22600 followers and this is my facebook profile where i have almost 4400 people are following me on facebook and this is my linkedin profile where i have almost 17027 followers on my linkedin profile so i'll go to youtube channel and i start going through my analytics to see how my youtube channel is doing everything so that is what i say that day trader doesn't mean that you have to be constantly trading from 9 15 to 3 30 let market come to your level then only you should take the trade so that is how i spend my time along with browsing and all this along with that i also have a habit of reading so during live market if i don't see any good opportunity or price has not come to my level then i'll try to read something so that I keep myself busy. These are the some of the collection of the books. 
especially i like reading autobiographies so i have a lot of books on autobiographies these are the some of the books most of the books are there in my cupboard and some of the books which i had to finish i kept it here and one of the book which i was reading off late called 281 and beyond by vvs lakshman this is the autobiography of indian cricket player vvs lakshman which, which i am at to finish it whenever there is no trading opportunities i'll take a book and start reading it now you can see that alert has come bank nifty has given me alert and i am in front of the screen again as you can see that already i have shorted 31900 call option already i am in the profit of almost 11000 rupees i have sold 500 quantity and already i am into 13000 14000 profit so that's what i was telling you that trading is more about patience waiting patiently for the right setup and finally i squared off my position at the profit of 22000 so let me tell you why i booked my profit exactly at this level so if you want to see my order book i sold bank nifty 500 units at 155 and bought at 111 so why i booked my profit exactly at that level let us go to the chart now can you see chart why i booked my profit exactly here reason i book my profit in bank nifty at this level not only because of the cpr also it was a demand zone in nifty this was the demand zone yesterday from here nifty bounced which was the previous day low also then made a big move so that mean this level is a demand zone it is trading last traded price can you see that it is 142 143 had i not booked my profit almost maximum of my profit would have gone because i booked my profit exactly at 111 which is almost 44 points profit look at this 150 151 so just 44 points profit would have reduced to 4 points profit so that is why i say that you should know where to book your profit also not only taking the trade is important you should book the profit at the right time if you don't book your profit at the right time then you will lose all your profit and it may turn into loss that is how my trading day ended today though profit was not very big but still it was a good day so it was a long day after all and they say that you should work hard and party harder so i am not going for any party but i feel like going for a movie because weather is looking so pleasant so i feel like going out <laughs>